And the Bible said in verse 20, 12, it said, When Isaac planted his crops that year, he harvested a hundred times more grain than he planted, for the Lord blessed him. For the Lord blessed him. And we realize that just within that verse 12, it's, that verse 12 is loaded. Because it's easy for you to say, and he planted. Where did he get the seed from? And he planted, but there was famine in the land. Was the land fruitful? Was the land uh, nutritious? What, 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 was the land ready? So there must have been a few things that Isaac did that had the land ready for fruitfulness. Now, when God said to Isaac, Isaac, stay in the land and I will bless you. He didn't say, I will bless the land because of you. He said, I will bless you. So in other words, the blessing was on, on Isaac, not on the land. Because if we remember, there was famine in the land. So in other words, when God blesses you, wherever you go will be favored because of you. Whatever friends you make, they will just glean from the fruitfulness in your life. You know, I always tell people, when you go for an interview, and this is not a way of trying to suit your troubles, no. Uh, when you go for an interview and you are completely sure you were going to get this job and then they don't take you, be happy. Be glad. Walk away, chin up, shoulders high. Be glad. But well, look back at them and go, you just lost because you know who you are, you know what you have, you know that the blessing is on your life. You know. And any organization you go into, you're carrying the blessing to that organization. They should be happy, not just lucky, but they should be happy that they have you. And when they don't have the insight to get you in, They've just lost. They've just lost. In Job, Job was praying. He said, those that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. So the problem might be looking at you and go, oh, well, he's too tall for the job. Oh, he's not, you know, big enough for the job. Or he does not have the kind of experience that he requires to do the job. They are observing Lying vanities. In other words, they are observing your condition, your situation, but not really looking at something that they can't really see, actually. Because if they can't see, they can't they can take advantage. But there's a blessing lying inside of you that wherever you go, you become the light to that organization. You become the light to that environment. Why? Because God says, stay in the land and I will bless you. The blessing is on your life. The blessing is not on the land, it's on your life. Say to someone, the blessing is on your life. That is why whatever you put your hands to do prospers, because you are the blessed one. You are the blessed one.